So here's my solution to this. So the thing I'd want to think about here uh, by setting that breakpoint, I'd want to think about my values that I want to, are my keys that I want to exclude, right? And I just gave you the structure for the if here, we'll write it in a minute. So I think I'm still active here. Let's see, maybe not, maybe not. I'm gonna grab it again so we can be precise, right? In our talking about the keys. So we know the first key, right, is first name. And if we hit first name, we wanna build. So when we think about the total number of, and this is where, yeah, so I'm since I was going to reference the uh, ob uh, the array here, but because I'm inside uh, the callback, the reference to the data uh, I can't have, but I could reference. Through, I can reference the object. Okay, so I want to build the DOM if it's first name. Okay, not last name. House member, house size. Let's just drop it so we can see it. So that's what we would want to think about in our logic. Okay, so I'd kind of look at it. I go one, two, three, four, right? Sorry, four, five. So I'd probably want to say, because I'd have to write it less conditional logic for the things I'm going to not uh, display, that's how I'd do it. Uh, so you'll see. Let's go ahead and here. So I'd say if, okay, and remember, here's your structure for your if, your conditional uh, code. I'd say if key triple equal, okay, and in this case I'd want to say what is it tri triple equal to? Well, the first time, the order doesn't quite matter, last name. Now where did I get that? Right, remember here, right, last name I don't want to include. So I'm just going to write the first one and then we'll come back. So if the key is equal to last name, console.log, Right? And I'm just going to give it some skip, skip, skip it. Mother, and, and what I mean by that is else, right? Console.log, right? Build it. Build the TD. Hmm. So if the key the first time around is equal to, or sorry, the, the for because we're iterating over, sorry, we're iterating over the entries in the object. If that first key is last, or, or the key is equal to last name, then skip it, otherwise build it. So you can see if your logic works by coming over here. Now it's, we gotta do it again, okay. Let's see, I have it here, good, right? So there's my iterator. There's my console.log. And now I'm gonna say if key, all right, so the first one, which kind of makes sense, is first name. So would it hit the build it or would it hit the skip it, right? It would build it. Next one, last name, skip it, build it, build it. Build it. Oh, MTPS. Oh, yeah. Why would that be? Right? Why would it be? Because we haven't written the rest of the logic. So now we come over here. We want to now have multiple conditions. Now we just have one. So we want to ask or, right? So, so we also want to say if key, what? Right? So now it's last name, right? It's house, what? M P T S is P is that how I have it? <laughs> I always have to remember how I name things, which tells you I probably didn't name it great, <laughs> actually, to be quite honest, right? So I do want that. Oh, I did P T S. Okay, so if it's that, or, right? What's the other one? So I don't want last name. I don't want key. So all of these conditions, right? So it's going to check because this is an or. So if any one of these, right, is true, right, then it'll skip it. If it's false, right, if any, if all of these are, if in other words, if it, if it looks, evaluates each one of these and each one of them is false, then it will say, oh, it doesn't, it's not in the, or your um, conditional statement. I'm going to 
build it. Okay, so house and then house size. And then what was, was there one more? House size, was that right? Okay, we'll go ahead and let this run so I remember. Now in this case, the logic is not working. I'm just getting the names and I do want total. So that's good. So I only wanted three. So now let's look at it, right? So now let's walk through the logic and see if it's going to conditionally do what I want. Now I gotta actually have the, the code that builds it, but this just lets me test my uh, conditional logic, okay? If last name, build it. Sorry, if first name, build it. Last name, skip it. House member, build it. House size, build it. Points, skip it. Points for size of a house. Oh, I need one more. Oh no, I just did this one wrong. <laughs> House, yeah, just did that one wrong. So you get the idea, right? So that's how you would do it. Okay, so now what I'm gonna have you do, right, is now, right, update your code as needed, and I bet you know what the next and the last challenge for this will be. Okay, so first, update your code, uh, This because you already submitted your code here, and so what I'll do is give you one more commit message because I want to see, right, you update your code uh, here. And then I will give you, there'll be a short video uh, where I, actually, no, let's just do it here. Can we do it here or does that get confusing? So now what I want you to do is figure out how, right, to integrate this uh, building logic into here. Okay, so that will be... Uh, your challenge for rendering now uh, conditionally rendering the row um, with those rows of the row and the column. Okay, that'll be the next logic. So I'll give you a commit message to see if you change your code and then I'll give you uh, just do the challenge and then one more commit.